Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and today we're back working on the 38 convertible. So, uh, like we've talked about in the channel, I do a lot of bouncing around where you might do some tedious work for a while and you kind of reward yourself with the what I would call the fun work. And last video was, uh, last couple videos have definitely been the fun work. That's been chopping the windshield frame, doing the uh, Zephyr tail lights and lighting them all in, and kind of like the stuff that looks cool and, and is very satisfying. So uh, after we got that done and got, I got myself rejuvenated a little bit, we're back to something I've been dreading on this car since the beginning, and that is the hood latch situation on this car. It's really, it's pretty bad. <laughs> so it, it definitely worked at some point, but um, it is a little crude and we're running into some stuff where I think for long-term driving of the vehicle, it's not going to be very good. So what I'm gonna work on today is just totally redoing the hood latch set setup in this. As original, this car has a, a hood emblem or ornament on the top here that you would basically, like a spear for lack of a better term, that you would turn and unlatch the hood. It was really cool in this era of Fords. Uh, pretty much all the Fords from um, like 37 all the way up, um, they had really cool way that the hoods would open and you would turn the hood ornament and you'd pull it up even into 44 and, and 39s and stuff. You'd put open the, you know, you'd pull on the hood ornament and that was the latch. So this car was no different. Um, what they did was when they put the Pontiac engine in this, they pushed the radiator forward to gain a little bit of room without um, totally cutting the firewall out. And when they moved the, hood, the radiator forward, of course, that, had, that ran into an issue with the hood latch setup. So they kind of made their own setup here from a latch from some kind of other car. And they welded some pieces of metal from the other car in here with the top of the latch. And then the receiver area down here, they weld in with some support bars. But what we found was it's literally jammed into the radiator. So um, in order for us to get good fan clearance and, um, and not have this thing rub and, and put a hole in the radiator after like one summer of driving, I need to redo this. So um, they also had literally a piece of electrical wire that was shoved through one of the louvers here, and that's how you'd open the hood. We're gonna do a little better than that. And the safety catch is broken off on this thing, and the little pin has no spring. It just, it just pushes around. So all of this stuff is really bad. It's a recipe for disaster if you're driving more than just five or 10 miles an hour down you know, back dirt roads. Uh, I wouldn't trust it. So I need to redo something that's gonna be, uh, in the long term, is gonna be safe and, and lasting. Um, and also it's gonna look cool. So I'm gonna do a little bit of restyling a little bit in here and try and get something that looks cool in the end. So I'm gonna work on getting some of this stuff cut out and uh, get a kind of a fresh start. I'm gonna focus on this area here first because I think this is probably the most involved on um, the receiver area or the, uh, the pin area. It just has to live where it has to live. So we're gonna work on that and uh, see if we can get this hood latching securely by the end of this video.
All right, so got a good start on this uh, slam panel, as I'm calling it. That might be a uh, European term for my roots I'm, I'm reusing, but we're gonna call it a slam panel. So this panel here um, is what I'm going with here. I haven't decided if I'm gonna put it on top of the hood sides like this or underneath, but the whole idea is to kind of cover up this void right here and also hold um, our latch. So I'm using 16 gauge sheet metal um, because it's a little thicker, um, but it's not crazy thick so I can still form it and move it around. So I used a pipe anvil to get the, the basic shape to it. And then what I've been doing is slowly trimming it in so that it kind of lines up when the hood's shut, this piece isn't sticking out. So I got it pretty darn close now. Um, I'm gonna determine as we go later on if I'm gonna put this on top or underneath and put rib nuts in this. Not quite sure yet, but I'm putting it on top right now because it's easier to take on and off. So I got everything kind of located and um, what I've been doing is they, they shaved like all the trim off this car and I wanna put some back on. So this is the original bullnose. This goes up, I know I got the hood kind of high here, but this goes up on top kind of like that and then the trim on the bottom of the hood top goes against it. So I've been trying to put the hood down, put this piece on, kind of set up what the gap's gonna be and um, and making sure, as you can see, that, that my, my slam panel here doesn't sit outside of that trim piece because that's like gonna be the most outer point. So I got it pretty good now and it just flows so nicely in these cars when you have all the pieces of trim. So that's why I'm putting it back on. So I got that on. I'm gonna be using for latches before I get back to work here, is going back to some of my roots here and using some old Volkswagen hood latches. So um, this, I noticed when I started really getting heavily into hot rods and customs, traditional stuff, I noticed that in like the 60s and 70s, uh, guys started really using these latches a lot in customs and stuff because I think they're simple and they're easy to adapt. The cars had um, hood, hood latch cables on them. So you put a hood release inside the car. Um, they're tiny and you know, back in the 60s and 70s, you just go to a junker and rip them out or get them from the dealer. Um, my buddy, Matt Rad, who's a old friend of mine and a Volkswagen enthusiast or nerd, um, I hit him up and I was like, dude, you got any of these latches left? Because I got rid purged all my Volkswagen stuff probably 10, 15 years ago. Um, so he luckily had some. I actually grabbed one out of one of his cars, this piece here. So what I'm gonna use is this, and I'm actually gonna put it from underneath uh, or mount it from the bottom and then all that will be exposed is that little latch section um, right there. So I'm going to work on getting these set screws, or I'm sorry, set screws, these holes drilled and putting them into the panel here and get it all kind of symmetrical and evenly spaced and we'll get all the zip screws in so that it's held down. Um, then we'll find center, we'll mark for our latch wherever it needs to be. I already cut the old latch out of the uh, hood top there and um, and then we can put that one back in, trying to reuse some of their bracing, clean it up, and get everything to line up. So that's the plan. We'll see how it works. Um, I'm gonna get busy getting this uh, fastened down securely and start punching a hole in it.
we found a uh, cable here that we had in our bin. It must have been off a similarly, similarly sized early Ford. Got it. Because the cable is like the perfect length. It's got a cool chrome handle. Uh, Steve found a hole in the bottom of the dash that's like perfect for it to fit the bracket. So we got it all bolted up. I got the cable in and attached. Give it a pull. Let's see if... Yeah. You definitely need to uh, lubricate the cable a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it is moving. Okay, cool. You're getting the full throw. All right. There we go. Uh, oh, yeah, there you go. That wasn't bad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's loosening up a little bit now. Yeah, and also the cable is in a... Probably oh. if we attach the cable, so it might work a little better. Flop too, around. Yeah. But that, I just want to make sure we don't get this thing stuck on. <laughs> so... All right, I'm a little scared. It's time. I don't know if I have everything adjusted right, but it's time to find out. <laughs> Safety catch. Catches. All right, oh so that's, that's latched, but I need to adjust it. Yeah. A lot. Oh, mm. okay. Oh, it sits too high yet, yeah. Wow. That's not good. Shit. Hmm. Well, I'm glad I didn't put the uh, actual latch piece. Huh. I don't know if I have enough adjustment and I may have to I may have to move the top part of the latch up in that bracket. I might need to make like a little recess cuz yeah, it's Yeah, yeah, a different shape bracket. Um it needs to be Quite a bit. Okay. I mean, we got to drop an inch, two inches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is a pretty good gap there. So I got to move the latch assembly up so that the hood shuts further. Interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, can't expect the first try. <laughs> but I don't think I have enough adjust with the springs, like almost totally bottomed out. Is it? Now, okay, yeah. I could. Well, there is a lot of adjustment in that stud. I could try turning the stud all the try, way. Yeah, there. try that first. All right. Yep. All right. See if it'll release. All right. Damn. All right. I like that. A little adjustment, and we're good to go. Catch works. Fit Perfect. great. Easy to get to. Yeah. Yep. A little adjustment, and we're good to go. Wow. Well, I don't know if I had a move. If I'm gonna move that piece up, that's not exactly what we're just oh. well, if I if if I wasn't doing the work, I'd say the same thing. You can do it. Great. Probably still get it adjusted without the spring. Just, I gotta get, probably got to get that plastic piece. I saw it was cracked. Oh, okay. What's happening, Justin? Nothing. Dropping off boxes. I tripped over a moment too many times. <laughs>
gonna have to move the latch, the top of the latch up. Mm -hmm. Like whatever that fucking distance Yep. Is. Can you just mount it on the other side of the I wonder why I have, cut, I have to cut it out so that everything can. Oh, that's right. It's got the, the hook on it too. It's not just yeah. a pin. It's like over an inch or basically an inch because you'll probably have an eighth inch gap under the hood. But... Mm -hmm. I was trying to take measurements with everything compressed what it needed to be. And yeah. I'll go ahead and pull that. Yep. Hey, at least the, at right least the hood latch works and the safety catch works. Yeah, exactly. Some things are working. It just needs an adjustment, that's all. It'll be fine. So got the uh, recessed, made a pocket that recessed this upper latch section um, to try and get the hood to go down more. It's kind of a tricky process because it needs to be recessed quite a bit that it almost touches this, um, this slam panel we made here, um, but it needs to still latch and stay shut. So I think I have it from... I did a tack weld and kind of tested it and it seemed like there was room to latch everything. Definitely the catch was lining up, um, the safety catch, but this is going to be our real test here. I still have just a handful of tacks in place because in case I have to cut it apart again. All right, so that was a major project that I did not expect to be that difficult, but I finally got it. So um, a little bit of problems, I had a little background on what happened there is I had taken measurements on, in the vise with the, um, or on the bench with the hood latch pieces kind of clipped together and what I thought they kind of needed to be. And that didn't really translate once I went and put it on the hood and moved everything around where it wanted to be. And we latched the hood and I had a crazy gap on the side here and I ended up having to basically like tunnel or French or recess for lack of a better term, I don't know. Um, the hood, the top latch piece up into the hood, something like an inch and a quarter, roughly. Um, so I did that, put it back on, tack welded it all in, went to latch it and it didn't quite latch. And then I went to, and as I was adjusting the stud out for the, le for the top part of the latch, I ran out of threads, it blew all apart, spring blew the piece across the room, and um, yeah, that didn't work out well. So I ended up lengthening the, that, the shaft uh, for that, that post that goes down, and um, ground, you know, welded it all up, ground it, and it, it works just fine now, which is great. I had plenty of adjustment, and, um, and now it's easy to, to dial the hood in. Most importantly, the hood latches uh, nicely. It's very secure, I have it latched here. I'll open it for you guys so you can see. The spring on there is nice and strong, so I was able to, um, it's, it pops it really nice. I had to lengthen the safety catch because when I moved the hood top of the latch up, uh, I couldn't get my hand in there and release it. So I lengthened that, that works well now, 
and we're pretty good. So that's where I'm going to take it for this video. I still need to do a bunch of bracing up in here. Um, I need to trim this down a little bit more and get it looking just a little bit better around the, the, um, the center trim here. We're going to do some sort of recessed fasteners so they're not sticking up as much. May even put some weather stripping here so when the hood's shut, um, it's not as noticeable. But it really stands out now because it's obviously bare metal. The other thing is there's supposed to, supposed to be a trim that runs along the side and this bull nose piece here. So if you see when you put that bull nose piece on, roughly where it's supposed to be, uh, it now doesn't have nearly as crazy of a gap in the front. And I'm sure when you put that trim on the side of the hood top, or the bottom of the hood top, it's gonna to be the same thing where it's gonna kind of close that gap up and make it look a little better. The photos I've looked at of these cars, they do have a pretty decent sized gap where, the, where these two pieces are. I think it's just because of how it fits together. It's hard to make a real tight gap on that. Um, but I'm happy with where it is now. It latches securely. And most importantly, we could take it for a test drive once spring comes around, because we are really close. We just gotta do brakes, do some wiring, and uh, yeah, we can pretty much take this thing around a block, which you know is like my favorite thing to do. Take it for its first drive since rescuing it from a, uh, a barn uh, or an overhang not that long ago in the fall. So it's been a quick turnaround. So hopefully this is helpful for you guys. This isn't the only way to do this. There's a ton of different hood latches that you could have used. I like the Volkswagen one because it is very small. is able to recess it in. It's already set up for a cable. And I was easy, able to get it for free from a buddy, which is probably the most important thing, and allowed me to move this project forward. So that's all I got for this one. Thank you guys for following along. Appreciate it. Catch you later.